Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Golgotham, and, and welcome back to another episode of KSB Career. In this episode, what should we do? We got a, quite a bit of min science. I think it's maybe time to head to another body and maybe do a little pile of science. Um... Or actually not too far from a Duna intercept. Or not intercept, but uh... Having Duna in our frame. So let's aim for a Duna launch on this mission. Dun 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 dun. So we want Duna to be about here for our transfer. Duna, Duna, haven't been to there in a long time. That's pretty good. Let's build a rocket. Let's build a rocket. So, in the last KSB career video, we unlocked the orange tanks and the mainsail engines, which is going to make this way easier. So, let's do it manned. We'll do a manned mission, which means we're going to require a return flight. So let's make, let's see if I do something like that, the poodle, oh, not that, the poodle on it, bam, some landing legs, I don't even know if these landing legs are long enough, extend. They do not appear to be long enough. Do I have? I do. I can make them longer. Oops. Do, 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 do. There we go. There. <clears throat> Now, should almost put the couplers on these guys. Can put them down even further than like that. Oops. Centered on there like that. Oops. Uh, this is gonna be Duna Lander Mark 1 Save Alright, test launch just to see if um, This is enough Delta V to get us back I may, need to do, may need to do some asparagus staging Engines Or like fuel tanks on the outside here But we'll see Oh my, look at that dip. Whoops. I'm gonna watch the physics kick in again, that was crazy. Swish. Can't tell if that's all the way touching, but that is weighed down. I should maybe make those six. Anyway, flip these around so that that's not what happened, so what'll basically happen when we land on Duna and we leave eventually. Oh, that is not very good. Well, that was successful. <coughs> Alright, root flight to vehicle assembly. To do curve of space. Um, that's right. I can do it this way. Oh, is that not gonna? There it goes. Web browser. Wiki dot Kerbal space program dot com slash. Wiki 
Oh, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Ah. Let's see if I can pop that up as a thing. Okay, so we want that. I also want... Imgur.com slash C-E. No, come back here. Z, uh, oops, capital S. One. That's my Delta V chart. There we go. So, uh, we're looking... So, for Delta V to get back from Duna... Gosh, it does not give me great reverse Delta Vs. Uh-huh. Okay. So if I go here and I go to Duna, is that going to help me out? Duna, yes. Atmosphere, landing, flying. Okay. All that stuff. Okay, nothing helpful. Does not tell me how much Delta V I need to get to Duna. So let's throw... Uh, science. This on here. Bam. So that's 5,000 Delta V just right here. Feel like that's enough to get off Duna. Uh, maybe not get off Duna and... So let's... Let's see. Can I turn that like that? Okay. So with these guys... Um, for those, uh, I don't like that. Like that seems so non-aerodynamic. I guess it really doesn't matter as much in this game. It just looks dumb. There. So there to there. Okay. So. There. Okay. I need to make this at least six. Do it like that, like a spider lander. Cool. Okay, those guys are good. Now I need to stage these appropriately. There. Alright, look at that. 7,000 Delta V now. That should be more than enough to get off and well, maybe if I put these guys on there, a little more thrust. Oh, that actually makes it worse. I'm not going to do that. What about these guys? Yeah, keeps making it worse. All right, let's see what happens. Still sinks all the way down. These landing legs are garbage. Okay, go. Uh oh. The thrust isn't enough. So let's throw those extra. I'm going to throw propulsion these on. Put them on this same level. Save. Launch. Delta V is a little lower, but 
I think it'll be better in the long run. Sink you. And launch. Hey, it's off the ground. It's not off the ground. It's tipping. All right. Reevaluate. Obviously, in this video, all we're really going to get done is the design of this. So what I'm going to do is that, that, pop those off, and I'm just going to go all out, big tanks and everything, do six, pop this off, it's a skipper, a skipper on there, propulsion, Uh, poodles. Okay. There to there. There to there. There and there. Asparagus staging. My planetary transfer stage. And landing stage. There. Okay, should actually put one of these on the bottom of those. Try to get it as low as I can. Now I need to, what I'm going to try to do is build landing legs strictly out of these girder things. So let's put detachments. There, oops. There, okay. So these are going to be non-retractable landing legs. The way they will be retracted is they will be... Oh, oh, come on. Why are you being all weird on me now? Bam. Okay, the way that they will retract is they will just be decoupled on launch. So that's these. So there, there. I gotta stage this properly. Okay, so we want, oops, that one and that one. Okay. Bam. Here. I think it's like that. There. Over there. Yep. To there. Alright. Look at that. 8,000 Delta V now. Launch. This thing's going to have no problem getting off the ground. Oh my! Look at that bouncing all ridiculous like that. I have to do a lot of strutting. Ugh. Look at that take off. Look at those weird landing legs. Jebediah just remembered that he forgot to pack a parachute.
I think this thing could get me into orbit. Alright, I'm satisfied with that. Well, I still have a lot of tweaking to do. But with the basic design, I am satisfied. Ah, I need to definitely tweak these landing legs because I am not going to land successfully the way that they are currently acting. So, let's see here. If I do something like there to there. There to there. Definitely need to strut these guys all together. Strut that to that. Okay. I don't like how it sits on the launch pad. Still don't think it's gonna sit very well. All right, let's test it and see how it sits now that everything is all strut together. Still have a lot of stuff to put on here. Physics? All right, look at that. Let's just watch the decoupling. Cool. All right. The lander is finished. Well, it's not finished, but again, it's the design is right where I like it. So let's put some of these guys on. Bam. Pop that down. Oh, not that big. Decoupler. There. Now. I don't remember if there are multiple biomes on Duna. Let's look. Duna. Biome. Where are you, biome? Why is it not showing me where it is? Huh. Da, 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 da. Why won't you tell me what I want to know? I don't think that there's multiple biomes. There we go. A uh, round trip from Kerbin to Duna's orbit and back requires roughly 1700 Delta V, less than a round trip with any other planet. Okay. And you can do arrow breaking. All right, anyway, not what I want, not what I'm focusing on. Um, I think I only then need, oops, one of each experiment. Because I believe there is only, what happened? Oh, there we go. Oh! Come on, there we go. There. No. Oh. There. That's the like the very final landing stage. Utility. Parachutes. T 
two of them on there, one there. Now we need some ladder action. Extend ladder, okay. Want it to come just like that. Oh, it's just a smidge too long, so we'll just go like that and then see if we can just do oh I need to move this there this should only be one there okay now uh oh See how far it extends. Uh oh. I'll have to do structural struts just for land, just for uh. Reachable? That one's not. Put a couple little ladders. Alright, we'll call it good just like that and see what happens. Need to see if I can save launch. See if I can get out of this thing. This is a vehicle design video for the most part. I'll put it in orbit and then in the next video we'll go to Duna. And let's see. Looks like it's EVA. Keep grabbing the wrong one. There we go. Down. Down. Let go. And then this way. Grab. And down. I can grab it. Perfect. All right. Let's run over here real quick. I want to take a screenshot. I like that right there. Uh, screenshot is F1. Alright. Vert flights to vehicle assembly. Now let's get this thing into orbit. Well, I gotta finish putting experiments on it, but then we'll get it to orbit. Oh, no, I was gonna try one other thing. I wanna see if I can reset the, uh, reset the experiments with the Kerbal. Like, so, say, for example, I take to observe materials bay. It keep data. Okay, now I EVA him. Collect data. Remove data. And there's nothing I can do with it. Okay. And then I guess I'll just do recover because I will get some science. 
Like seven science. Woohoo, seven and a half science. Okay. Cool, so this is the payload. Uh, I guess I should probably put the rest of the experiments on and some batteries and stuff. Barometer. Thermometer. Don't need antennas. We do the mystery goo. Throw the mystery goo back over here. Bam. Uh, I should put it like that. Bam. There we go. Mystery goo. Packed and ready. Now I need a ton more parachutes on here because when we land on Duna we can use parachutes. Perfect. So these ones will go off at 5,000. These ones will go off at 2,000. There. Alright, this one on the very top will go 5,000 as will these. Okay. So now when parachutes go off. All right, so let's save and test the parachutes. This is this is rocket building, folks. Lots of test flights. You don't want to build a rocket out of a bun, you know, build it and then get up there and realize, "Oh no, I didn't, you know, I didn't put my parachutes on properly or something like that." All right, so let's um, actually need to put them parachutes on this stage right here. And then when I repack them, I will only need to repack three, the top three. There, okay. It's not a launch. Gonna decouple anything here because I need to. I should have left the landing legs on too. I want to get up over like 6,000. Okay, now ride it up a little bit until I hit apoapsis. Okay, parachutes. So at 5,000, the first shoot should go. Beautiful. And then there's 2,000 for the next ones. Uh, why does it look like my ship is in part, different parts? Oh, because of time warp. It's like, that is weird. Look at that. Separated. Being pulled apart by the parachutes. Okay. And the rest of the shoots. Whoosh. Boom. That's not a slow crawl to the surface. I don't know what is. Awesome. Vehicle assembly. 
debating on putting some science things like, uh, like what if I do this? That and I put little science pods. That barometer. Thermometer. Then I can collect science in a bunch of different areas in orbit and stuff like that, and uh, and decouple them as I need. But I'm going to manually be decoupling them so they can go all the way up to the top there. Now, battery. Give me a bunch of these batteries. Why would that not work right there? One big old battery on there. Actually, no, I just need the little battery on there. Oop. Now, solar panels. Beautiful. And then on the outside, all of these. Okay, action groups. One will always be toggle panels. All the panels. Okay. Two can be all the ladders. Toggle ladder. Toggle ladder. Toggle ladder. Okay. All these guys can start retracting them. Alright, and do we need any sort of lights? Might as well put some lights, some landing lights on. See if I can get them like under here is what I want. Like that. I think that will be our final lander vehicle. Alright, well I think this is actually going to be where I end this video. Um, we'll, I'm going to go over it a little bit one more time. You can see our very final return vessel that will land will just be this pod here, which will be manned by Jebediah. Toggle flag. Of course I want a flag on it. Oh, that's probably underneath here. They all have that option? No. Um, anyway. And then we've got science. This is the main Duna science right here. This will be... Um, actually, I could theoretically not have this and just have these because I think that's plenty of science. Eh, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll keep it as is. Um... Yeah, and then I've got, of course, this big tank here with a bunch of parachutes and um, batteries on it, um, solar panels as well that will come through th in between here, in between here, in between here. See, I can't toggle them to look at them, but 
Uh, we can look at them on the launch pad, I suppose. You can see what it looks like with all the the solar panels expanded. All right, let's see. Physics. One to extend all the panels. Yum. That looks pretty cool. And then it will be, <clears throat> when we land, it will be landed by power and parachute. Um, so if we start now, it is asparagus staged. There goes our solar panels, because I'm dumb. Didn't attract them, but that's okay. I did not save that staging. I'm just gonna ride this up and deploy the chutes just like I did before. Oh, why am I tilting? Oh, because I didn't put SAS on, that's why. Okay, let's just ride it up. Whee! I'm gonna ride it up so I'm pretty much out of fuel. Kill it there. More time warping. Hit our apple after this. Begin falling. What did we just lose there? Okay. Parachutes. Parachutes. Alright. They haven't slowed us down very much yet, but they will. And shoot. Whoosh. Okay. So far, so good. Ride it down to the 2000, just like we did last time. I want to test the landing legs to see if they work okay. Da -da 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 -da. Wish you would go. I wish I could physical time work faster for landing. I want to test these landing legs. 25, 4, 3, 2, 1. Mm -hmm. Shoots. Okay. Now we are slowed down to a crawl. I wonder if on Kerbin, if I will even need to use any sort of power to land this. Now this, of course, again, is the final lander stage. Um, I want to use none of this fuel during any sort of transfer, any sort of uh, orbit or any sort of orbital burns, plane changes, none of that. Strictly um, landing. Okay. So I want to test the impact tolerance. <clears throat> at 10 meters per second of these landing legs. Turn the lights on so we can see. Love our shadows still there. All right, impact tolerance test in three, two, one. Look at that. That impact tolerance was amazing. 10 meters per second I landed. And with nothing wrong. Let's just show these ladders retracting. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, well if you enjoyed this video, please click like down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see other videos like it. I am Golgothan. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.